What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman. I know you guys have not seen me in a while. No, nothing has happened to me. It's just the weather here in South Louisiana has been atrocious the past two weeks. Either it's 60 to 80 percent chance of rain and thunderstorms or it is 15 to 20 mile an hour north south east west wind whatever direction it's coming from the wind is howling which is why i have not been able to fish in two weeks now and it is absolutely killing me but i figured since i haven't posted for you guys and i am doing a little fish fry tonight i was going to show you guys how we fry fish down here in South Louisiana. I'm sure it's a little bit different than, everybody has their own version and technique of how they fry fish, what they put in and everything like that. So I'm gonna go over that, I'm gonna go over the whole process. I already have some catfish that I caught earlier um, this year, or say earlier back in 18. Um, so I'm gonna be using those catfish. I'm pretty sure you see, it's catfish from actually one of the videos that you've seen in my previous catfishing videos. Um, I posted maybe uh, sometime around September, October, somewhere around there. Those are the catfish that we're eating tonight. So, as I said, I'm going to show you all the step-for-step -step process, and we go get to frying some fish. All right. So, we're going to start with our wet wash that we're going to do, which basically we're just going to take some whole milk. You can use any milk you prefer, skim milk, 2%. I like whole milk. We're going to fill up this bowl about halfway like that we're gonna put some mustard in there just put a little bit it gets kind of rid of any of that fishy fishy flavor that may be left in the fish like i said it's really no measuring you just kind of sprinkle it in there and then we're gonna put some good old season oil some tony sasheries in there just to give it a little bit of favor i know it looks like a lot but it's really not we're gonna go ahead and mix that up and then we're gonna also have another wet wash that's gonna have my personal touch secret ingredient, which isn't really too secret, Frank's Red Hot. <clears throat> I've seen a few people use this recipe and I tried it and it is absolutely delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this bowl up a tad bit with some Frank's Red Hot. And that's what we're gonna wet wash it after the regular wet wash, then in there, then in the batter, then in the fryer. But like I said, I'm going to mix all this up and I'm going to get back with you guys after it's all done. Alright, got our wet wash mixed. Got our catfish nice and defrosted. I also like to cut my catfish into little bitty strips like this, if you can see. I don't like to leave it in the whole filet. Um, first and foremost, it's a lot quicker to uh, fry because it doesn't take as long. But also, I figured it, it's, it holds a lot better seasoning when they're this small than frying a catfish filet that's this thick and you got just seasoning on the outside with the breading and everything but the inside of the catfish really isn't too seasoned so i like them pretty thin and sliced in smaller pieces i'm also going to put the this is the without exploding the whole packet everywhere we're going to put the batter in a bowl that way we can mix it with the after we use the wet wash it's this uh basically i use two different ones um these are louisiana fish fry or i love zatarans zatarans has some of the best fish fry mix also i'm using the lemon pepper this time as you can see normally i use the seasoned um which i can show you guys here also use the seasoned zatarans fish fry but like I said, gonna change it up a little bit. Use the season the past couple times, so we're gonna use a little bit of the lemon pepper. And if you use lemon pepper, if I can find it here. If you use the lemon pepper, then you also gotta use the lemon pepper seasoning that you're gonna put in there. So I'm gonna crack that open, put a little bit of lemon pepper. It also has garlic uh, and onion salt in it as well, so that's gonna add a nice little flavor to it. I said I season my fish pretty heavily. <laughs> um, some of you guys, it's seasoned to taste really. It's gonna look like I'm putting a ton of extra seasoning here, but it's really not. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix that together. I'm gonna have to hand mix it. You can 
just simply do that. And as you can see, it basically turns into it doesn't look like a lot of seasoning in there. So I'm going to get to wet washing. <coughs> Ooh, seasoning got me there. I'm going to get to wet washing and show you how you, the guys each step of the process until it goes in the fryer. All right. So now the whole process getting put together here. I'm going to take some of this catfish. You don't want to put too many in there at one time. And make sure all the excess water drips off. Just kind of let it sit in there. Rub it down a little bit. Like I said, it's just milk, mustard, and a little bit of Tony's or season all, whatever you prefer. Like I said, just to get some of that fishy ish ish flavor off that may still be on there. But if you clean your fish good enough, there shouldn't be too too much fishy flavor left on there. Um, there's a swirl it. You don't have to swirl it for too long. Then I'm going to transition that over, get all the excess off. You don't have to all, but at least to where it stops dripping consistently. Then you're just going to drop it right there. And the Frank's hot, Frank's red hot, should I say. And I'm going to put the next batch in, the milk to soak while I prepare all the rest. So I'm just kind of mix it in the Frank's red hot, get it nice and and it's gonna it's gonna look like it's about to be super spicy but it's not it has a a very very mild flavor i should probably turn this vent down so you guys can hear me because i remember on my last cooking video when i made the tacos it was pretty loud so like i said it's gonna seem like it has a ton of spice that's about to come punch you in the face when you eat this but it's really not that bad it's a very mild mild hot sauce flavor this is gonna put that in the breading Get majority of the excess moisture off of the fish. Gonna dip that in there. Then I'm gonna come back to this. After that's been soaking for a few seconds. I'm gonna transition just a few pieces because the fryer is gonna have about as much as it wants right now. So I'm gonna get some of the excess off, put it in there. I'm gonna get a nice coat on these fish fillets because the last thing you want is uncoated fish fillets because that's gross. Like I said, get them nice and coated. They should somewhat look like this when they get out. Nice coated fish fillets. You don't want to really see any of the exposed pieces of the fish. And once you get it nice and coated, you're going to transition it right over to the hot grease, which you grease. I normally fry my fish at about 350, 375, somewhere around there. You just want it on decently high heat. And when I'm doing a small fish fry like this, just for two or three people, um, I usually just use a pot like that with some grease in it, just some regular vegetable oil. Um, when I have more or doing a really big fish fry, I'll break out the actual fish fryer itself, the deep fryer. But for small fish fries like this, this is a whole lot easier than breaking out and going through two gallons of oil just to fry a pack of fish. Like I said, if they're not coated all the way, make sure you get them coated. I'm going to go ahead and transfer them right over. I'm going to let those cook. Um, you stir them. I'd at least leave them sit for about um, three or four minutes. Then you're going to kind of stir them to make sure they're not sticking to the bottom for any reason. Then once they get nice golden brown, they start to float to the top of the grease. That's when you're going to know you want to take them off. But I'll explain more of that when we come right back. All right, so it's been about three to four minutes. Got to just go ahead and give these a good little stir. As you can see, they're starting to turn golden brown already. Um, they're not done, nowhere near done, but um, they are turning golden brown and they're not sticking to the bottom. So I'm gonna leave these alone, let them cook for about five more minutes. It normally takes about eight to 10 minutes, depending on how thick the filet is. These are thin, so it's not gonna take long. I'd say about eight minutes max. We're gonna take them bad boys out. What I'm gonna do now, I got these few left little pieces right here. I'm gonna let those sit, put them in the hot sauce, 
put them in a the batter, put them in a the fryer, and I'll get back with you guys when everything is on the table. All right, everything is done. As you can see, look at those golden brown delicious catfish fillets. Also got some french fries, which was frying up before I cooked these fish, but nice golden brown. They're a little dark. That's because of the um, batter I use. Some batters I use, it comes out real light. These are a little dark. So, you know what time it is. It is the taste test. Let's see if this actually tastes any good. That's a little close to my face. So. Oh. <laughs> One more. Mmm. Mmm. That Frank's Red Hot. Key. Key, key, key. It penetrates the fish and puts salt in the fish. Not as well. They got salt on the batter, but when you bite into the fish, there's actually a salty flavor in the fish as well. It is absolutely delicious. So, I'm about to literally consume that whole tray of fish. And, well, because I saved some for my wife, but... I'm about to chow down. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, I apologize for not coming up with no fishing because this weather is insane down here. Between weather, my work schedule, and everything else, I'm gonna try to get on the water sometime next week. Um, if this weather cooperates, I'm gonna have fish for you guys. If the weather don't cooperate, I apologize one more time. Stick with me through this these brutal winter transition into fall. Uh, I mean spring months and then we're gonna get on some fish as always stay tuned for another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman